We're going to be <laughs> blasting them with dry ice, uh, which sounds harsh, but actually it's not. These are cast bronze sculptures. Before you put an object like that on display outside, usually you put a sacrificial coating on top of the, the, the sculpture so that uh, that helps to protect the patina and the surface of the sculpture. And these particular sculptures had a, a coating of, of hard paste wax that was applied. But it's clear that these objects now need to have a full removal of old and failed coatings so that we can deal with a few corrosion issues that have turned up and recoat them for the next number of years. Fairly recently, uh, the conservation field has started to look into the idea of using uh, carbon dioxide, snow, or uh, ice pellet blasting as a method for removing coatings. The dry ice is actually um, shot out through uh, a high pressure nozzle with compressed air. That actually does cause a bit of an impact. You could call it a slight abrasion of the very top surface layer. Then there is also the difference in temperature of the dry ice and the surface layer causes um, a differential and contraction. Um, and that loosens the adhesion between the micro layers. And then you have a small micro explosion that helps to blow away the uh, surface layer that has already been cracked by the impact. Normally, most people can't see conservators working. Um, we're kind of hidden uh, in the shadows of the museum. So we, our aim is to make sure that our objects are preserved as long as possible um, and provide access to them at the same time.